forward. All right, now then, I'll do a brief recap for those that's joining. Um, doing an image transfer, and I'm using the Liquitex gloss gel mat, uh, medium onto a piece of unbleached canvas. And I'm using the Digital Designs by Tsunami Rose Designs. I always forget to hit record. Okay, I think I have that pretty well coded. Alrighty. Scrape that off. Now close this up. Okay. Now I'm going to take my image. Now if you're doing photographs, well this canvas, it doesn't appear to have a right or wrong side that I've purchased. Both sides look the exact same. And this canvas was like right about five dollars a yard. There are some that go up to like eleven dollars a yard. And uh, but when I first started this, I was looking on both sides, and they both appeared to be the same. Now, if you're doing a photograph, you may want to reverse your image before you upload it. Now, if you have a laser jet printer, well, you are set. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm just going to get this laid down here. And then we'll come right out like that. Now some of it might ooze out. Just wipe off your fingers. And if you have one of those rollers, that's great. I forget what it's called. Um, or if you have a rolling pin. Heck, those work. Or a straight edge or an old gift card, which is what I'm going to be using. And just work it to where you get your air, air bubbles out. Take it all the way to the edge. I'm just wiping off any of the excess that comes out. Because if I remember correctly, one of the videos that I watched it said not to get glue on this piece here, on your top piece. I'm thinking that's what I watched. And you may come across a stubborn area. This way. Whoops. Then we'll strike these out of the way. Now right here I have a little bit of an air bubble. You can probably even see that. So you want to work that out. Because again, where it doesn't touch, your image will not transfer. Sure, I got it down real good. Let me move an air bubble here. Let me rotate my rag around. It's sticky. That's okay because it's right on the edge where my image isn't even at. So 
so I'm not going to worry about that at all. As you do this, you can see your image. You all probably can't see it, but as you're working with it, you can. Okay. Now, you let that sit and cure for about 24 hours. And then once it uh, once it's ready, you just take, well, let me show you before I move this one because the other one's off. Take you a sponge or a rag and some water, and you're just going to either dip your sponge or whatever. I just use my fingers. And you just keep working it, and you get this nice and wet. Okay, and as you do this, you'll see your image start to really um, appear, and you just keep working and working and working, and as you work, now it's going to be a mess, because all, here are all the little paper pieces that are going to start to come off. They're going to roll right off like that, and um, again, this process takes a little bit of time when you're using this. Now, I have seen some videos where you can also use Mod Podge. I did not watch them doing the image transfer, but you can also play with Mod Podge. And um, the link that I shared earlier, uh, it shows, like I said, she left it on for less than two minutes, and then she just sort of peeled back. And uh, when you do that, you'll see sort of a hazy um, film-like and that is your last layer of paper that you need to get off so you just have to kind of keep working it but you don't want to overwork it because if you do you can lift the image some now <coughs> excuse me here is a finished one that I've done this is also part of these the roses your printable journal and if you see right here it looks sort of hazy right here and right here that is where um, I still have that last little bit of layer I need to get off. So, and I was using a real fine soft bristle toothbrush to help, and it worked quite well. So, I'm just going to take this, wet my image a little here, to get that last layer lifted up. And you can probably see some of those little pieces right there. And then I just took my rag, kind of brushed them away. And yes, I have a monstrous mess on the floor under my feet where I was working on this earlier. So I'll be vacuuming when I get done with the class. <laughs> And there was an area. Now I rubbed a little too much right here, but that's okay because I like that. It looks old and shabby and vintage and worn. So, I mean, you may like that some. it's starting to lift the image just a little bit but like I said I like that let me work over here just a little bit when you're working on it though you can feel that paper that's being lifted that last little layer of it And there is an image transfer on canvas. And uh, again, the laser is, it's definitely a lot better. Let me get this laid over here out of the way. And then tomorrow I'll work on that one compared to using the inkjet. You can see the difference. And of course, like I said, I did this in a sepia tone too anyway. So. Uh, I'm sure doing it in a sepia would still bring out a lot 
lot brighter. And uh, you can do this on wood. Uh, she also has a video um, series to where you can apply it to you know other elements from that YouTube link. A little bit more needs to come off there. But I think this is just really cool. Again, you may want to reverse your image if you're doing, you know, a photograph. And after I got done doing some of this, I let it dry and then I went back and that seemed to, to really do good. So there is the image transfer again. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a little sachet. And um, I'm going to trim off this border. I didn't even waste my time trying to peel it away. But if you can see um, the paper right here. Because I thought I'm cutting that away anyway. So there's no sense in doing all that. So we're going to cut this out. And I probably could have left that on there for my, that's okay. So I could have folded that inward and glued it and you wouldn't even stand it. I'll do the next one like that. Just cutting along the edge of that. And there we go. Isn't that pretty? I love Daisy's papers. Now throw this away. Okay. Now the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to fold it. Whoops. Let me get this out of the way. I'm just going to fold this in half and I may trim off some more like that. Sorry you all. Okay. The first what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my edges in. Like I said I probably could have left that uh, rim on there. I'm going to fold it in about that much and give it a real good crease. And I'm just going to glue this down. I'm going to work rather quick because I want that to be pretty flat. Ooh, that's hot. Do the same to the other side. I would have that tan pretty good. Now, canvas and hot glue don't really work great together. And you could probably even stitch this, but I'm not a sewer. Or using a different adhesive might work a little bit better but for time purposes I am using the hot glue and 
and there we go. Let me get this boated pretty quickly here. You could even do a, just fold this in half and punch little holes uh, and do like a stitch with ribbon or lace if you wanted to. And there we go with that. Now I'm going to glue this down. Let me get a glue stick here. I have a noisy glue gun. And there we have so far our little pouch. You may even want to hit this with an iron, which may even help seal that. But before I did that, I would use some type of old piece of cloth over that so that way the iron didn't mess up your image or anything. Because it's still a glue on there and uh, put it on a low setting just to kind of help give that a crease a little bit better. Now I think what I'm going to do, let me get my piece here. This is one of the doilies, of course, in uh, Deb's shop. And what I want to do is this is what's going to be my flap. So just measure it all out here. It's going to come over like that. But I do want this a little bit smaller. So I believe I'm going to trim it down just a little bit. So I think that's a little much. So let me just trim a little bit of that off. Oh, I'll get a different paper here. Oh. Well, the falling apart on me. Hang on, y'all. Sorry. There we go. Where I've got that glue, it's making it a little difficult. There we go. We're getting it. Couple more snips. Sorry, y'all. There we go. Let me straighten it up a little bit. That stuff's not easy to cut through once you double it. There we go. Save that and use it for something. Who knows? Okay. Now let me measure this up. About where I want to trim it all off of. Okay. 
Alrighty. Trim it there. Now, if I need to go back and trim more, I can. There we go. Now what I want to do is I'm going to attach it back here, okay, and then no worries because I'm going to still hide that seam. And let me see how that's going to look when it's flipped over. Well, it's moving on me, shoot far. Okay, so we're just going to go on and glue. We make boo-boo, we make boo-boo. Nothing you can't fix. Hide or alter. Okay. There we go. Get off there. Okay. Let me get all these little glue thingies out of the way. Alrighty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of trim from Dev's shop. Let's see here. What do I think about that? No. I have something a little wider. Uh, let me see what I have over here. I'm going to use a piece of something I already have. Now this is from my stash. I don't think I like that. Where do we want to cut? Alrighty. There we go. Let's see if I have the right side here. Looks like I can use either side. Great. I'm just going to run this along the edge here. It's going to hide my glue and everything else. down. Okay. I got it a little off right there. Shoot. See what I can do here. No worries. Okay. 
Mm, that's better. Okay. All right, let's trim this up down here. And there we go. And here's our little pouch. And you can put your little smell good stuff in it. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I have some magnets and I'm going to attach mine with a magnet. But I cannot get to them at the present moment. And uh, I'm going to make a closure. And <laughs> don't maybe. I have another one up here. It's also from the shop. There it is. And this is one of the new ones. Pretty, pretty. It comes in this and a pink. But I think I like that. Oh, now this doesn't match. I'm just experimenting here. Oh yeah, something like that would be really cute. Of course, this does not match. I just had this one made up. So, let's do one of those real quick. I think I'm going to take this. And pick one of these fun little flowers. And of course, these are all over the internet to learn how to do. Some really cute ones out there, too. Different techniques. And I'm just going to run it right along every couple one of these holes here because I am not fast at this <laughs> by no means I like making these though they're a lot of fun and this is another one of the uh, trims in Deb's store Just do a run and stitch is all. I like making these little flowers and putting a tail on the end of them. And then, I you know, like a, a buckle, run my ribbon through it and make little bookmarks. Fun little easy project and makes a great gift for a reader. Just about done. Okay. And then, of course, you just connect it around with your other piece. Give it a good pull. Like so. And I just happen to have this needle over here threaded. That's why I used it. I have some white, but I knew it wasn't long enough. Oh, 
Alrighty. Give that a snip. Lay that there. Work it around. Mine tend to pucker a little. Now you can sew that right there if you want to, but I'm going to cheat and just hit it with some hot glue. Thank you, Rebecca. And this may be too big. Yeah, it's a little big. But that's okay. And then let's see. I had a doily, but I have misplaced it. I'll find it when I'm done. Maybe it's up here. Let's do one more here real quick to add into that. And this is just some lace from my stash. And I'm going to run it right along the edge there. I've used this before to make these and I forgot how big a paint it was to beat it in and out. This material. Well Rebecca it looks like it's just me and you kid. <clears throat> Can you see okay, Rebecca? By my beginning point here. There we go. Everybody abandoned us.
Okay. Now just attach this to here. I need to get my mat light back here. But I've got it piled high with stuff. My nonstick mat. Now, I'm going to use a piece from the uh, new stuff. Once I find it. And it's over here. No. Oh, where did I put it? Shucky darn. Oh, there it is. Here's another one of the laces. It's new. Isn't it pretty? Oh, thanks, Rebecca. And I'm just going to use a piece of it. You know what? Let me see something here. I may just do, I think I'm going to leave that little tail on there. Make sure I have the right side here. Um, I'm going to lay that right there. That is hot. Now, do I want that? I think I may go with the bigger one. Yeah. Push that down in there. Here's another one that's going to be new. I just love it. I used it on the pincushion at the last little show. Now let me move that over there. So this out of the way here. Now. I'm going to attach this as close to the bottom here as I can. So I probably should have cut that just a little bit bigger. And I know that's going to stick to the table. And metal piece come off. Oh, no, it didn't stick. And there's the front of our little sachet. <coughs> Let me see here. Okay. We need that right there.
and away the areas that we don't need. There we go. Oh, that didn't look right. So I've got a teardrop here, but I don't over here. Try this again. because I'm going to put some of this other trim on here. Whoops! Shaping it up. Okay. Now I'm going to attach this to the bottom. a little bit at a time. And there's what we have so far, Rebecca. And I'm going to add one more thing. I hope I did not misplace it. I laid it right here beside me. Bear with me one second. Now, I told you I'd find that doily after I got done. <laughs> oh, here we go. I found it. But you know what? I don't know if I'm going to use that because that's got a lot of... This is something new in the shop too. I just love it. Yeah, I think I will use it. To there. Get my wire cutters here. Here we go. Let me turn this sideways. All right. My head gets in the way. I'm sorry. of this metal very well. This would probably be where you need some E6000. Or a better bonding glue anyway.
Yeah, see, it's lifting right back up. Shoot. Come on. There we go. Yep, it sure is. It's very sturdy. And there we go. Here is the back. And here is our front. Of course, I still have to add the magnet. And this might be a little big for some people, but but I really like this piece on there dangling down. I need to touch up this little corner over here. Oh. We'll wait for Rebecca to get back from her commercial. Hmm. Did you make it back yet, Rebecca? You still got commercials? Just waiting on Rebecca to get back. Oh, there she is. Okay. Thank you, darling. And, of course, being that I use the canvas, of course, I don't think that um, your smell good stuff would come through very well. So that was my purpose in using the doily. And, um, and there you go. Of course, if you sew, I don't. But this would even make a cute little handbag. Or something just to sit on the shelf somewhere. If you have a you know really vintage touch in your home. And but I think this little piece right here is my favorite part, the where it dangles. So anyhow, that's an idea to do with some in, image transfers. So I'll put all the links for everything, including the YouTube video on the um, the other product to use, the other medium, because I think that would be awesome just to be able to do it and only take a few minutes to do your image transfer. But I'm pretty pleased with it. And Daisy's papers are absolutely gorgeous. 
So, but Rebecca, I won't keep you any longer, darling, and thanks for stopping by. I guess, you know, with it being a Friday night, you know, a lot of people have things planned, especially if they have kids and they're in sports. So, anyways, be on the lookout for new goodies all month long. Thanks so much, Rebecca. Yeah, it's like, of course, like I said, the only thing that's time consuming is um, working that paper off. That takes a little time. But now with the other, the lady, she just peeled it right back. Of course, she still went back over it and rubbed off that, that last layer of paper, but I don't think it took her very long to do. Um, and she did a big piece. It was huge. Oh, my. I couldn't even. It was like 30 by something. It was monstrous. So if you check out that video, that link, I'll share it one more time. Uh, and it's pretty awesome what she did. And here it is. Oh. But I'll put pictures up of this tomorrow so everyone can see it. And thanks again. Love you too, darling. Take care.